The Spider, or convertible version of the 570S, joined McLaren's Sport Series last year and has finally made it into Australian showrooms. Believe it or not, this is the entry end of McLaren's range, which seems a little peculiar when you look at the asking price, and even stranger still when you look at the performance on offer. In coupe form, the 570S starts from $379,000 with the Spider on test asking almost 57 grand more, and that's before options and on-road costs. Like the coupe, power comes from McLaren's 3.8-litre twin-turbo V8 that drives the rear wheels via a seven-speed dual-clutch transmission. According to the brochure, it's adequate for a 0-100 time of just over 3 seconds and a top speed of 328 kilometres an hour with the folding roof in place. But the numbers really only tell half the story and on normal roads it's the McLaren's manners that face the toughest scrutiny. And while it might sound odd to call a supercar like the 570S Spider docile and well-mannered, that's exactly what it is. In its softest settings, the McLaren is effortless to pilot and, dare we say it, almost comfortable. It's also beautifully finished and contains most of the mod cons you'd expect from a high-end mark, even if some of the functionality is a little clumsy. But we're not sure too many people will mind a laggy infotainment system, especially with acceleration like this. The 570S is scalpel sharp and wonderfully responsive. In fact, it's almost too easy to thread along a winding road at silly speeds. And it stops as well as it goes. McLaren's mega 395mm carbon rotors and six piston calipers reining in speed with astonishing effect. Of course, the 570S Spider isn't perfect. The offset pedal box and firm brake pedal aren't ideal for stop-start traffic, and there is a little bit of wind buffeting when the roof is retracted. We also found the instrument panel doesn't dim as effectively as it could, the contrast and not the brightness dimming when selected. But they're pretty small complaints in what's an otherwise amazingly accomplished machine. And on the right bit of country road, I can't think of another car that pushes my buttons in quite the same way as the 570S.